Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to oh, episode 3, I think it is, of Let's Sample Tracks, the train set game. This is just moments before where we left off last time. Each time I restart the game, I've got to go through all of the quests to get back to where we were. So that's a little uh, little thing that's got to be worked out, I, I'm guessing, with the, uh, the way the passenger mode works. It doesn't truly say where you were, but it's fun getting back through it all, kind of getting used to driving the train again while I'm getting ready for the episode. Anyway, so we are going to pull into this station. It's going to tell us to we'll go find five crazy people. Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. Pulling on in. And stopping. All right. 15 passengers out. And unless I've got that wrong. No, there is one more quest in between them. Yeah, we got to get back up there. Okay, we'll do that, but we can't do it down here. There. <laughs> All right, then we'll... Let's see, that was a hard right at this point. Let's see if I can remember how we laid everything out. Steam, full steam ahead. We've got two or three. Three. Um, corkscrews here. Slow it down. Coming into a stop. Hitting the brakes. Is that far enough? Yep, they're all activated. And we've got to hit both stations with this. We have a lot of switch tracks to navigate now. It's getting a little complicated out there. Alright, so first one does what? I think we were off to... I'm going to slow it down a bit. We're going to spill over the side. <laughs> All right, that's right. Underneath the low passes here, let's speed it up again. And need to catch probably this guy. We'll head up this way. All right, passing by him on our way to the business station. I'm not taking that one yet, but well, could have. We have both kinds of passengers in here. Slowing it down and hitting the brakes. And backing up. There. That should do it. Let all of you guys out. Take off again to the passenger station. And how do we do that? That's right, we have to change our direction over there, which was the first right. Yeah. This way, that way, and then a right, and something like that through the shadow station. We'll have to build a new shadow station when we, uh, oh, when we do the free play. Slow it down. <laughs> All right, good stop there. Where am I now? Oh, camera was in the right place. Now we get the five crazy people. An adventurous set of passengers has arrived. Find them and make the train jump five times before taking them to the station. Okay. Yeah. So, well, that's not what I wanted. That's what I want. I went looking for them the first time I played this. Assuming that they were up somewhere high so that there was room to jump. And found them up here. Not five. You got ten in there. Okay. I had in my mind it was five. Um, I had a hard time with this the first time. Trying to get tracks to start from scratch. Let's grab this guy here. The, the piece. We'll call it the starting piece. And that's interesting. He's floating all over the place. Now if we're up against a, a wall, you can start it where you want. But out here in the middle of the room, it if I hit Alt, it does elevate. It didn't when we were trying it before. Or else it's an optical illusion. It looks like it's down there on the floor, but really it's up here. Yep, it is. Okay. So we can start a track wherever we like, end it, start another one, end it, start another one, end it. And I was thinking about that when, let's see, drop him. When we had this challenge here. Instead of spiraling all the way down, since we needed to get over there. And I had to figure out how to weave through all of this. We could have 
just done this. Let's see, a curve. Though I'm going to be one track off, aren't I? Okay, we'll do that. Let me see how to get over and down. That's it there. And then started, let's see, grading down as we went. Could have at any time just stopped building and driven right off that thing. Like, let's do that as a practice run for our attempt up there. Let's jump into, actually, let's get into right there. And let's see what happens. See if I can figure out how to get there. I think it was this turn. All right, full steam ahead. Up this corkscrew. And hang a left. Whoa, whoa. And let's see what happens here. Just like that. In fact, let's just watch this for a while. See where he gets into trouble. I don't really get to, to watch the train much. I'm always driving it. Yeah, we could just sit here and watch him work his way through the whole room. Eventually, he'll get onto the wrong switch track and just end up going in circles for a while. Let's see what he does in here. Which is the default? Straight through? Straight through and... Nope. Oh straight through and off he goes again so he's already in his, his circle okay let's let's do what let's get up over here and emergency stop okay so we want to get up here we're at this point how best to do that This is the last of the quest phase of the passenger mode. That's all that has been built so far into the game. So, you know what I've always wanted to do? Was to have a train track that went around the top of a room all the way around and you just see the train just constantly going in circles around the room with trees and, and you know, backgrounds painted in and buildings behind it and in front of it, kind of scattered all the way around. That was a dream I had since a teenager playing with my own electric set. What are you? Are you really a cookie in the couch? <laughs> so, hmm. Let's... Actually, you're a station. The station went away. What, what? What? What happened? Okay. Well, how do we get him back? Let's go. I don't have that station. All right. Unlock a normal station. I'll put him. That was really weird. It's just a cookie sitting there. Huh. Okay. I was going to say, we could take off from somewhere over here and start going up and hit across the entire room and then find some way to stair step back down through jumps. Or we can make our first jump right here. Now oh, there's an idea. It just needs five jumps. That's where I got the five, huh? So five jumps. This could be jump number one. It doesn't have to be five consecutively or... or what have you. They just have to be on the train as it jumps five times. Hmm. No, I think I want to take off from here. question is how to do that takeoff. If we were to grab this one and turn and try that again. There. Okay. And start going up. No, let's... Grab that guy for support. Then go up. That'd be nice to kind of interweave through here. Can that be done? 
That looks not enough height. Okay, that can't be done there. So, if we were to turn this way and go up, that leaves enough room. I wonder if it will... Well, we're too low on the behind right there, though. But I wonder if there's any way to interweave these uh, corkscrews or something a little more uh, complicated later. Hmm. All right, I'm liking that. So that's too low there. If I built that and then went up, okay, that works, but that doesn't. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have to go up here. And then rotate in. And then... <laughs> can I curve immediately? Let me get... Let me break this so I can get myself in the air again. Grab him and turn. Not really. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to kind of avoid this area here. Let's take you up one. Then curve in. Then up one. And go. Alright. We can do that. Now we need to start... This is the wall, so we need to start climbing up higher to the wall. I'm just wondering if I want to corkscrew it, though. Hmm. Got no way to set the corkscrew onto anything, and I think it'll look too weird floating. This is along the wall, so this could essentially be, you know, attached to the wall. Let me break and get up higher. Now, let's go up as far as here and right on top of that one. Okay. There. Not. Okay. Well, then we'll have to curve around and curve back. Well, let me clip into that, or will we be uh, uh, cascading to our deaths down there? I don't know. Let's find out. Because I like it touching the wall. Okay, that's good. Now curve around. Whoa. Break. Climb. There we go. And grab him again. Turn. Now we got to start our descent. And I don't think... No, I can't do that. And we need to sweep in from a side at some point. No, actually, I can... I can go across and spiral down. Let's get a corkscrew in here somewhere. Alright, entering from which direction? From up above, right there. I don't think I can make my turn without hitting the wall. Hmm. He's coming in from there. We're going to have to be out there a little bit. Something like that. That'll have to do. If we do that, then he can... Let's see. Build... Back up. Now, back up, then I can turn. Alright, take off like that. Alright, so how do I get from there to there and look interesting? Where am I? There I am. Let's... I guess we'll go straight, curve. Now back, back, let's go up. Curve. Curve up, up. All right, well, we're connected now. Now, can we work a jump into... No, it won't matter. Because we have to jump them with them on the train. So all the jumps have to be from here on out. Now, to do it simply, we could just build a track, go out to 
and then build a new track like two spaces down and take that out too and just stair step this thing and it'll just plunge from track to track all the way down. That's what I did when I was practicing this. I want to see if we can do it a little more interesting this time. Some kind of a, an exaggerated spiral that breaks as it goes and lands on a straightaway. Hmm. Well, let's take him out one more. No, let's not. He plunges right there. <laughs> Peace. All right, where to? Rotate. Okay, there we go. So, how about the first one? It's just kind of a simplified, just to get you thinking there's something crazy going on here. And then this one takes a turn. And then what? We need to build, let's see, a piece. Rotate like so. Alt. I just have no way to. Okay, well, if that's there. Something like that. Hmm. Let's not. Let's grab this guy and send one downhill. Yeah. And then we'll land on it. Can I land on a downhill piece? Can that piece be converted? Um, there, there. Will you? You will not. Go. Okay, I can't uh, scroll up and down and make him become a, a downhill piece that, as a starter. Can I alt? Alt just changes the height. It doesn't give me an alternate piece. Okay, can't do that. But plunging downward is more interesting on the ramp. So if I touch him, let's see, I need to figure out where that height is. That's right about there. Okay. So we'll come down about like this. There. Let's set that and see what that looks like. Okay. We could throw one more piece behind it just as insurance in case he drops faster than we think. But that's an idea there. Now let's curve this guy around. He should have landed by then, right? I think so. There, drop. Drop. Curve in. Downhill end and we'll plummet again <laughs> now hopefully eventually there'll be some kind of a post and pillar system that can mount underneath these guys and go to the floor and sort of this this hovering in, in the air stuff I think we need a complex framework like this that can be put all through the system and have the tracks pass right through those girders um, all right, from here we want another G piece. Hmm. Alt. R, R, R. Okay, where am I? I'm essentially right there. Okay, so let's come down about like this. That. What's that look like? Okay, and I kind of like, uh, I think that'll work, but I kind of like going immediately downhill. So, where are we at right now? One, two, three jumps. Four jumps here, onto another curve. Oh, we can jump onto this track here for the for the last stage. And slam the brakes and screech and stop over there somewhere. Okay, I like that. So off of this one, we go into another piece that then goes into a spiral. Yeah, okay. Jeep. 
piece. Now, where am I? Okay, you're almost there. <clears throat> Let's drop like so, and we'll put you there. Okay, so again, one, two, three, four. I gotta stay up at this height, though. Alright, that works. Um, break. Let's see, C for clear. Get me back up in the air again. There we go. Grab you. Let's go like so. Make the turn. And one more. Actually, one more and drop. Now let's back up one. I think that'll make it right there. Alright, let's see this again. We're heading up into here. How'd we get here? Ah, we took off. We're gonna have to drive into the station and make this turn here to get into this crazy alternate reality. Around here, snuck up in the air, swung back around again, corkscrewed in, pick him up, plunge off the end. Plunge, 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 plunge. All right, let's see if it works. G, platform. Let's <clears throat> pick them up as early as possible. We need a little bit of speed. In fact, we may have to back up a little bit so we have some uh, some runway. <laughs> so are we ready? I think we are. Tell you what, let's leave it here and we'll kind of watch the whole thing happen and then we'll go around the whole room again and uh, and actually stop at the station the second round. Yeah, I think so. In fact, from here we can take the first right if possible and maybe take that jump one more time. We'll see if I, if I can snag that switch track in time or not. All right, so we're not going to see much till right about there. Okay. Where are we? We're over here. we got to get back to the station. And the station, prior to the station, we make the first right. So we're going this way. Okay. That means we've got to take the, uh, uh, the turnaround over there. <clears throat> which is this one. And then steer right, go up through the shadow station. And that was wrong, wasn't it? That was wrong. Okay. <clears throat> What's our fastest way back to trying that again? I've got to come up the other route to the normal station, the passenger station. So from here, think quick, we'll go that way. Okay, we'll do this again. This time we'll take the other route in, which is here. And then from here, take this one. There it is. Of heights, this might get a little uncomfortable. What's going to happen here? Oh, it didn't fall off. Good. Oh, this feels high. All right, let's start slowing down right now. Take that speed down all the way. Yet, oh, we're taking the steam down. We're not taking the speed. Oh, it did a pretty good job there. All right. They're loading in. So I guess I just back up, set it to full speed. Nah, not full speed. Hmm. Well, let's back up first. How far can we back up? 
I think half, half speed or even less would do just fine because everything's downhill. Let's take it to half and hop out of here. Alright, what's going to happen? That one worked. That one, oh, worked. <laughs> All right. Now let's get back to that station somehow. Here's our starting point. Okay, we know how to get there from here. So let's wind it up to about there. Although I'm kind of tempted to do that again. How do we do that? This one... <clears throat> or up here, okay. Let's do that again. This time we'll be in it. So going this way. See if I can remember all the route. Nope. I have to go the other way, which means I have to go through the shadow station. And that wasn't it either. We're going to be on this for a little while. Okay, that's working the way up to the top. Which doesn't let me take that switch track, does it? But we'll give him this ride. Alright, choices. Okay, we're going to come down and hit that, that switch down there. <clears throat> Alright, you switch over, take it to the right. Oh, it didn't go to the right. I held it, it ignored it. Alright, one more try through here. I guess I should maybe pull out and add some more places to, uh, to switch out. I want to go straight. I'm going to go around. I'm going to get to that shadow station, then it works out fine. So that's this one straight in. There we go. Now we need the alternate road here. Okay. Get to the top and take the other one, which is right there. All right. Full steam ahead. Trying to, at least. Express. So this time we'll write it from inside. Take that down to just less than half. In fact, maybe less than that. We're going to come off this guy really fast. There we go. <laughs> All right, full brakes. And back. There we are. I believe this finishes the passenger mode. They're not nauseous or anything. I'm impressed. That's all for now, folks. Okay. So that is the end of Modern Apartment Passengers. That's interesting. Cargo went away. I wonder if this updated through the night. Anyway, back to you. And pull out of there. So that is what it took. At least that's the way that, that's my take on passenger mode for tracks. 
mean, if we're playing tracks, we may as well build some tracks, hmm? There's probably a much simpler way to do this, but that wouldn't be any fun. So, with that, I think I'm going to take a few days off from this game and then gear myself up toward a full-blown series of it. And we'll end up with something, you know, five times as many tracks as this, just all weaved around in here, and we'll have fun with it. Build a little town scene somewhere, and we'll be the kids that just take over the living room for a week after Christmas and have fun. Yeah. Alrighty, so with that, this has been Noble Rambler, and I'm going to call this one done. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.